What's going on YouTube? In this video, we're looking at how to use PyPS4 controller module in order to install and set up everything in our environment to connect our PS4 DualShock 4 controller to our Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi 3, or any other Linux box as long as that box has Bluetooth. Now, all the hardware that I'm gonna be using in this video, I'll have links to them in the description below so make sure to check that out and let's get started so I have my Raspberry Pi running and I'm actually SSH into the box here and the very first thing that I'm gonna do is install this module so I'm gonna copy that command to install it I'm gonna paste it in my terminal and I'm gonna run it now this particular box already has uh, this module installed so it, it'll tell me that the requirement is already satisfied so now what I need to do is install everything in my environment in order to be able to run a DS4 driver uh, this is one of the utilities that will be installed once we run Pi um, in my case I think I installed it with Python, yeah, with pip. So pip is, I believe this is uh, Python 2. Yeah, so since this is Python 2, I'm going to be running Py2 PS4C init. So this command will set everything up for me on this box. So I'm just going to execute this. And it's going to install all the packages needed and it's going to install the DS4 driver and it's going to update the rules so we're able to um, get the events from the controller. So there we go, uh, it's done, it tells me everything is initialized so now we can go ahead and start uh, DS4 driver and connect the controller. So we're going to start DS4 driver by running sudo DS4 driver. Also guys, before I forget, um, if this is your very first time connecting the controller, you don't want to connect it to DS4 driver just yet. You actually want to go into the Raspberry Pi UI and connect the controller to the Bluetooth. Like they, they, there's going to be a Bluetooth icon in the um, upper right corner. You want to connect it there. You, you just press um, the Bluetooth icon and then you press the uh, connect new device and then you press uh, share button and the PS4 button on the controller and then you wait for it to pair um, if it doesn't pair just try it again it will pair uh, and then once it, it pairs just um, disconnect it and then move on with this step so now we're gonna run the DS4 driver and I'm gonna run this in background so I can run a different command after that um, actually before I run it well, let's actually do it this way. Let me open another um, another terminal, and I'm gonna SSH into my Pi from this terminal, uh, just so I can run the DS4 driver here. So I'm gonna do sudo DS4 DRV, and I'll run it here. Now it is, it's looking for devices and the device that it finds, it's gonna bind it to this interface. Now, if you go back to the module here and scroll down to the code, you see that the controller will actually take the interface. So this is the interface that you pass in as a string uh, to this um, class when you initiate it, just FYI. So this, this is where it comes from. If you have multiple controllers, because you can start multiple instances of DS4 driver, it'll actually create a different device uh, interface. So it's going to be like JS1. So you, in theory, you can control multiple um, 
or you, you can bind to multiple controllers. So now that we have it running, the next thing that we want to do is actually copy this, this code into a file on the Raspberry Pi or your Linux box that you're running. So let's go ahead and um, so I am on desktop. So I'm just going to do nano. It's the default uh, ID that comes with um, Raspberry Pi. So we're going to do nano and we're going to do test.py. And at that point, I'm just going to paste everything, all that code that I copied from the repo. I'm going to paste it in here. Just make sure the interface is correct once again. Now, if everything looks good, uh, do control X, then do Y and then press enter. So now let's go to the other tab and let's connect our controller. So what I'm going to do at this point is press share button and PS4 button at the same time. And I'm going to wait for DS4 driver to pick up the device and it may happen immediately or it may happen it may actually fail uh, if it fails if it if it doesn't say that it sees devices uh, like here um, then try to kill this process and then start it again and then uh, repeat the steps until it's connected sometimes if, if it's your very first time connecting the controller um, it, it may not bind um, immediately. So for me, uh, the controller has been connected. So I can go back to the desktop here and I can run, I can use Python and then run the test file. So by default, nothing happens. But now when we start using the controller, if I press X, for example, you see that the event has been fired for X, right? X press, X release. If I press uh, square, same thing happens. Uh, if I use the joystick, for example, if I push the joystick, the left joystick up, it will show me the input, right? So, and you can see it's progressively getting bigger. And then as I release the joystick, uh, a different event fires on release so and all the buttons are bound so R1 L1 R2 L2 and for the buttons uh, like R2 and L, L2 and then the um, joysticks you can see that there is also a value this is the input this is basically indicating how hard the button is being pressed so if I progressively press it harder you can see that the value changes and all the way up is 32,767 while if I release it um, should go to zero I think uh, actually now when you release it it's um, it's minus 32,767 um, same thing for the joysticks. If I push it up all the way, it's 32,767. If I push it down, um, it's plus. So minus 32,767 and then plus 32,767. Uh, same thing for left and right, I think. I might be wrong, actually. No, yeah, it is. Yeah same numbers for right and left so now what do you do at this point well you have basically bound the controller and you have access to the button events from Python code right so technically you can go back into your nano uh, into your file here the Python file and you can start um, coding something up uh, if you want to do something specific you can just you know remove the print statements and actually write your uh, Python logic to do whatever it is that you want on whatever button press that you want. 
so hopefully you guys learned something new if you did make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and as always have a good one take care